So the mute drop that everyone has been messaging me about with this hat, these video game console inspired shirts will be dropping next Sunday at 6 p.m. So mark it down in your calendars, sign up on the emailing list to get 10% off your first order too if you haven't. There's this PlayStation inspired baby blue shirt, PlayStation inspired logo hat, two embroidery details, and the hat also comes in khaki as well. And then there's these two other shirts. So and obviously you can tell N64 inspired. Also there's a uh, embroidery on the sleeve details on each shirt. All these shirts that I'm wearing right Right now are extra large so if you like your shirts i wouldn't say this is like crew crazy oversized but if you like them a little bit baggier and then if you want them a little bit slimmer i'd say maybe size down because i can also wear a large and then lastly a dreamcast inspired t-shirt a little embroidery detail in the sleeve as well and yeah i think this is one of my favorite drops from you that i've done in a while so make sure you check it out sunday october 29th 6 p.m eastern oh also i have little keychains that i made which are cool enjoy this uk vlog in which i traveled to see the boxing fight all right, my flight is now. I'm headed to London. Uh, once she knows when I'm leaving, my suitcase comes up. We're just waiting to board now. We're flying to London and then going straight to Manchester for a couple days. So it's like a two hour-ish train ride. And then we're going to London for a couple days. Flying at midnight, so hopefully I'll just be able to sleep the whole time and we'll land there. Wanna say what up? Going on block. Uh, let's sit. Oh, no, 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 hold up. Let me start again. Let me start again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just on the train and then he came on. He's like, Joe, I'm like, hey, hold up. It's so random for him on this random train. Yeah, it was quite random. Like, I'm just looking up. Forget, bro. Where have I seen this guy? Forget, no, I've seen this guy. I'm like, shit, it's Jet. <laughs> Yeah, what a vlog, man. It's nice to see you lot. We're getting on our like fourth train right now. I'll tell you guys the story when we get there. Okay, so after like 12 hours of traveling, we get here. And funny story about the guy Charm on the tube. When we got onto the tube, he gets on and then he's like, oh shit, Jet. And this is when we just got off the flight. And I'm like, the fuck, someone recognizing me here is kind of random because most of my viewership is from the States. And he was a super chill guy. We talked to him like for an hour on the car. And then we took a bunch more trains and got here because essentially the worst travelers ever were like, oh, let's just take the train. It's like a three hour train to Manchester we saw and then the flight was an hour we we're like yeah but then we got a board and then take a cab so we just took a train first mistake we get here like four hours later and then we get to the Airbnb and we're like it's expensive too we played a lot for this place and we're just thinking like is this like kind of gross it's just like the floors are really dirty there's hair in the beds like the sheets are so dirty I don't know if you can see it on camera but when we first got here, uh, we were like, okay, hey, fuck it, like the floor is dirty. It's uh, like, we're only here a couple days. And then once I did the sheets, I'm like, okay, yo, this is gross. Like, let's just go to a hotel. And then I go to my boy's room, Matt. I'm like, look at your bed and tell me if there's anything gross. <laughs> he finds this nasty big blood stain on the fucking bed. And like 20 more hairs. And I don't want to sound like coming off as ungrateful, but for the price we're paying for this versus a five-star hotel we could have stayed at, it's just insane. So we're going to try and get our money back. Yeah, it's just been a long day. And I feel like where you're sleeping is like the most important thing for cleanliness in a place. And I don't know why they can't just have clean sheets here. And Airbnbs do like an, do an amazing job at showing the place kind of looking nice in the photos. In reality, like the, it's not terrible. It's just the cleanliness is gross. Like the blood is like less straw. The place has pretty decent reviews, but I think the main thing is that there's a lot of bedrooms. So I guess if you're staying here with a bunch of people, you can mathematically be like a decent price, but no, if it's just two, like it's crazy. So today's actually the fight day. I never really showed the room. But it's just a bed. Got a nice washroom, big closet, big washroom. And yeah, this is definitely a lot nicer than the place we had before. I haven't vlogged that much here in Manchester. First of all, uh, I'm just gonna be honest. Food here, I haven't liked. It's not been the greatest, but maybe I just went to the wrong spots. And then my friend, I think, has got a sore throat yesterday and was like kind of commissioned out for the day. So I just stayed home and did some work and got up my video. And then today's the fight day. One store I did go to actually was a uh, classic football shirts. I think it's called. We got the new Madrid Bellingham kit. They had it. And then uh, my friend Matt got this vintage Simeone jersey. I got my girlfriend Sid this vintage Man United Ronaldo jersey. I know soccer jerseys are kind of trendy for girls. So I guess trendy in general right now. My Nando's review in the UK is. The chicken was definitely better and the amount of items on the menu is a lot better. This is my Manchester Nando's. I don't know if the Nando's in London or wherever else is better. Fries in tr in Canada at Nando's 100% are better. Even my friend was saying like, yeah, they're crispy or they're better. The fries we had were, weren't crispy and the Perry seasoning that they use in the UK, I swear is worse. 
you know, I'm just biased. And then the garlic bread in Canada is also better, 100%. But the chicken and the sauces and the coleslaw, the mashed potatoes, the rice was definitely better in the UK. But I'm surprised there were some things better in Canada. Also about the city tour, yeah. So we did the city tour and it was pretty cool. My friend Matt, who I'm here with, is a huge soccer fan, like knows about everything. And even the guy on the bus we saw was like, you're just gonna see there's no history really there. And I was thinking it'll still show because they've been around for a while, even though they got bought by a rich Abu Dhabi guy and then they started becoming good. They still have history because they used to be shit. So I'm assuming they would like talk a bit about that. The tour was kind of really commercial and he was like, yeah, this is where Hallen will walk in when he comes in. It felt like a hotel tour kind of because when I'm comparing this, I did the Atletico Madrid tour. Obviously that's like a really historic club and they were like all about their history, showing all their jerseys from the past. Yeah, it just felt like more special. If you're a City fan, sorry, but plastic club. Fight night is tonight, super excited. And then we're going to London. It's like 1 a.m. Fights were pretty good. KSI and Tommy Fury fight was kind of boring, honestly. I thought Tommy Fury won and Logan Paul obviously won. Dylan Dennis didn't really throw any punches. It was still entertaining and there was like a brawl at the end. I got most of it on film. But some of the fights before that were actually probably the most entertaining. Knockdowns, knockouts. I'm excited to go to London now because I've been kind of bored here during the day. First full day in London. It's the Airbnb, it's actually really nice. Got my bed here. Definitely a lot nicer than the Manchester place. Big washroom, nice shower. My boy's room is down here, down the stairs. Little foyer room, kitchen, couches. I've never actually had traditional English breakfast. Well, maybe I have had it, but I have never had it in England. And we also found out that England's playing their Euro qualifier match against Italy, which is actually an important game. So we got tickets to that. We're gonna go to Wembley and it's our last day. Probably gonna check out Selfridges today. My mom's brand actually has a collection in the store. So I definitely wanna check it out. BGN, if you don't know, link right here. Walking through the park after English breakfast. Someone tell me what the difference is between, I know the main difference is the beans, but American breakfast and English breakfast, it was really good. Matt was telling me that he thinks English breakfast is more common, like they eat that every morning. An American breakfast is kind of like a treat, I guess. <laughs> like a denim but they're actually a sweatpant and I saw them on a mannequin I was like those look kind of cool and I thought they were a denim and they're actually a sweatpant I'm trying this Prada I think it's cashmere it's really expensive though but I don't know it's so nice this is a size large I might have to try a smaller size though we're in a optical illusion museum and it says where did the color go if you if we look at each other it's like we're in yeah. like a movie that's like yeah. in sepia we walk by this and we're like should we do it or like it's probably shit, but fuck it sure and then the reviews are actually good, it's called Twist. I have no filter on this clip. It's the lighting in here. Yeah, like a, those umbrellas are all the same. These are the same color. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Selfridges. First thing, Sid is obsessed with these jelly cats, so I got her one. I don't know what the hype is with these jelly cats, but girls seem to love them. And then you guys saw I got these diesel it's like my dream pants because I love wearing sweats and I feel like you can dress them up because they look like denim. And the last thing I got was this Prada sweater that was ridiculously expensive but it was so comfy and I don't know, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think of the two things. We're on the way to Wembley. 
our thing is putting the cost of the tickets always on a team. So we got England, obviously, because we're here. back from my first visit at Wembley. The stadium is pretty insane. But the game was actually really entertaining. 3-1, four goals. Standout player of the game was Bellingham. He was actually fucking insane. Like this guy never stopped running and pretty much never made a mistake. Sprinting, pressing the whole time. Like, I don't know how this guy doesn't get tired. But yeah, definitely a cool experience going to Wembley. I'm flying back home tomorrow. It's my last day in London. I had a pretty good time. Fortunately, my friend got sick. So some of the days are kind of cut short and then I didn't end up vlogging as much. Took some L's in the casino, unfortunately. But yeah, I want to talk more in depth about the trip when I get home. All right, I've been back home for a day or two or so. I'm going to actually do a giveaway for those who stayed to this very end. So you guys know I like to do. I'm going to be giving away a hat, one size fits all. So anyone can enter. Just comment something you liked about the video so it doesn't think it's spam and you have to have Instagram to win the giveaway and then put your Instagram handle, but don't put the at sign because sometimes they'll think it's spam. So just write it exactly how I put this comment. I'm happy to be home. I don't want to keep this video too long. So I'll talk a bit more about the trip next video. See you next Sunday.